the southeast corner of Illinois, about 30 minutes east of St. Louis, there's a place that many people are unfamiliar with. It's a place that many other people are proud to call home. Visiting Clinton County really opened my eyes to a whole new world. I thought it was the funnest place I've ever been. Uh, Clinton County's great. I would I would never probably really move out of Clinton County. I mean, not somewhere I'd go vacation at. What I want to know is what makes growing up and living in Clinton County so special. Clinton County is comprised of a bunch of small towns, including Trenton, Breeze, Beckemeyer, Bartelso, Germantown, some towns don't even have their name on their water tower, and maybe the only one you've heard of, Carlisle, because of the giant Carlisle Lake. When you're not sitting around watching trains go by, I don't know what there is to do here. I have noticed, however, that there's a bar and that there's a church on every corner. There's a bar, there's a church, there's a bar, church, bar next to a church, bar next to a bar, bar that looks like a church, and there's the finest bar in Clinton County. So I guess the people here spend a lot of time drinking and praying. I'm Megan Urcher and I live in Breeze, Illinois. I like living in Breeze because it's a very small town. I like living in Clinton County because of the small town atmosphere. The, um, so the people, it's a small town vibe. On the weekends, we normally go to the bars to go out, have fun. Yeah, there's really not much to do besides sports and drink. Go to clubhouses and party. Like in high school, we would go to clubhouses or out, you know, to people like people's ground that they own. A clubhouse is kind of like a house out in the woods. Um, it's normally used for deer hunting, and then besides the deer season, we can go out there and throw parties. We started drinking when we were about 15, 16. Are there any cops in Clinton County? Look, they're drinking on a school bus. My name's Tom Ellis. I'm a deputy sheriff, Clinton County Sheriff's Department. All right, so there's at least one cop. In Clinton County, the, as far as crime, no. As far as what they like to do, uh, Clinton County has, you know, everybody, you know, it's alcohol, you know, so I mean, all the kids around here like to party, and it's, uh, it, it's one of the things that I guess is, isn't frowned upon, and, you know, they just kind of expect it more or less. So people urinating on the street, drinking on the street, you know, stuff like that. So there's no, no less or no more, you know, uh, enforcement here as anywhere else. When I turned 17, I was leaving a clubhouse party and we got pulled over and I did get a drinking ticket and got pulled into the sheriff's office. Busted. I feel like I could really use a beer right about now. But anyway, let's get a perspective from some people that don't live in Clinton County. This fun-loving piece of white trash and the only minority that dares step foot there. My name's Michael Nichols. I'm from Galesburg, Illinois. Um, Galesburg had a lot more meth problems. <laughs> the meth right now is a, is a big problem. I visited Clinton County uh, last weekend uh, Christmas break. Um, I think it was over Christmas break this past year. Um, went there and met up with a friend that we have that lives there. Um, right when we got in town, we got a whole mess of beer and went on a couple beer roadies. Went to the Casey's and got some beer. <laughs> You're not familiar with that, what that is. Um, we try and get the driver as drunk as possible and then we drink a 30 pack and throw the beers out the window as we go. I wouldn't say that I would live in Clinton County because I wouldn't see very many people <laughs> of the same um, skin tone maybe. Is that a good, good way to put it? I could definitely see myself living in Clinton County. I mean, there's so much to do. Actually, all I heard there was to do was to drink and play sports. And on that note, I caught up with the high school football coach, and I can only imagine that a small town high school football coach is like that guy from Varsity Blues, you know? Well, uh, I demand things that are done the right way and try to play the game the right way and teach it the right way. And if you can do what's asked of you, uh, then you'll be fine if you can't. And it's maybe not meant for you. So. Oh, yeah. This guy's definitely Bud Kilmer. Right. I think when the things are going well, the, the town and the people bond together, and it's a, it's a good thing. So we've had some good athletes come out. I'll like continue on. Let's see what it's like raising your family in Clinton County. I 
lived in Clinton County um, for 49 years. You know, you weren't live in the city, then you got to worry about people breaking in, and you know, it's just not as safe. I just feel like it's safe here, and I, I lived here forever, and I like it here. Clinton County's great. I would, I would never probably really move out of Clinton County. I would definitely consider raising a family in Clinton County. Uh, I would raise a family in Clinton County just because the the small town life. Like high school, like if you're an athlete or if you're involved and stuff, like everybody kind of knows you and you kind of get a lot of attention, so it's cool and everybody knows everybody. So it's a, it's a safe place to raise your kids too. So now you've had a slice of what it's like living in a small town atmosphere, and maybe you can respect why people like living there. And yes, I did get laid in Clinton County. 